G'day folks, my name's Simon. I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. This channel is all about motorcycles, adventure, camping and touring. Today is service day. So this morning's about the earliest morning you've got anything recorded from me at. It's currently 19 minutes to 9 in the morning. And that's because I'm racing into Newcastle to take my bike for its 12,000 kilometre service. We're actually just under 11,000 kilometres at the moment, but that's all right. So the bike was actually booked in at 8.30 this morning, but unfortunately, uh, I went to bed a little bit too late to be getting up at that time. That's all right though. I'm sure they will be okay. Because it's not hours and hours later, it'll be like half an hour late, right? So, yeah. So I'm dropping the bike off, uh, setting up a GoPro to do some time-lapse video of the uh, servicing with the permission of the manager of Fraser, New uh, Fraser Motorcycle at Newcastle. He's more than happy for me to do that for my channel so that you guys get to see it. It's not too late to be heard, so tell me what I need to So abstract, yeah, it's complicated. What you say, the way you act. Well, it here we go. I don't know what to do anymore. Can't you just make up your mind? We're in the uh, Honda dealer. Also happens to be um, Harley Davidson and Ducati here, and the bike's just been. Uh, checked out ready for its service and we'll be going through shortly to uh, have a look at what they do hey guys so uh, my bike's still in being serviced and having a couple of things done to it and Nick the sales guy here at Fraser Motorcycles is letting me out on the new Ducati Multistrada V4 for a bit of a spin so uh, you're going to get my first reactions out of it straight, straight up Oh, it sits lower than the um, from the Africa Twin. I thought it was going to sit a lot higher to sit on it.
push. So, Grazer Motorcycles, and I'm off. Service done. So I'm obviously back on my bike again, which is a good thing. And I've got a new addition to the bike now, but I'll talk about that later. We'll just get out of here, shall we? Oh, it feels weird having, uh, having to use a clutch now. I did like the uh, the quick shifter. I've actually um, asked the parts department to price me up a quick shifter for it. The good thing about it is then it's all adjustable through the uh, through the screen and the display and the computer system on it. If it's the Honda Genuine one, I've also asked them to price me up some heated grips for it. Again, the Honda Genuine ones are uh, good because all adjustable through that which makes so much sense. Oh, the bike's been mostly cleaned while it was there. There's still some bugs on the windscreen and stuff, but they were basically baked on, so... I wasn't really expecting that to be uh, perfect. Oh wow, look at that. KFC with like, looks like a service station. So 10,782 kilometres and it had its 12,000 kilometre service. So all good. Now it's uh, time to get out of the city, head back up to Jeremy's place and have a couple of beers and work on properly fitting the new accessory to the bike. Um, you probably can't see it at the moment because it's actually up behind me. But what it is, is a shad top box, a 39 litre top box. And I got that not because I needed more storage, but because I want to change the way I have my storage. So what I'd like to be able to do is use that for things that are either uh, being accessed a lot more or things that, um, you know, that I wouldn't want damaged if I dropped the bike over or whatever, you know. So the top box is really quite good for that because obviously it's on top. And unfortunately, a couple of things that I do have take up basically my whole left pannier on the bike. Which isn't a problem unless I want to carry things, you know, carry more things or carry things in a slightly different way then it becomes quite inconvenient, to be honest, because camping gear takes up a whole pannier. The, uh, the left pannier is taken up with two or three items. And then my duffel bag, which goes on top, has basically got clothing and my sleeping bag and stuff in it. Now, that's not a problem. They're all light, and that's quite good having them up the top. But um, I would much prefer to be able to use that space in a different way, which is where I think the uh, top box will be more useful for me in the long run. The good thing is, is that it's completely removable, which means that I can simply take it off and shove my duffel bag on top if I want to. And then tomorrow, once, uh, once the top box is properly fitted on and everything, tomorrow I get to pack up and Head in the direction of home. So anyway, the battery's almost flat on this GoPro and I really don't want to go pulling everything apart to change batteries. So guys, I'm going to uh, shut it off here for today and um, I'll catch you on the next episode. But I hope that you've managed to enjoy today's episode, which uh, will have a bit of everything in it. So as always, hit that like button subscribe down below and uh, leave me a comment 
tell me whether or not you would want to buy a Multistrada V4S. I mean, would you spend 33, 34,000 Australian dollars to buy one? Anyway, guys, I will catch you next time. Till then, peace.